everybody. We are going to read The Chalk Giraffe. One day, I drew a giraffe out of chalk. My giraffe came alive. He could eat, he could talk. I'm alone, he cried out. There's just gray all around. So I drew him a tree growing up from the ground. My giraffe liked that tree with leaves blowing in the breeze. They tickled his nose and made him sneeze. But still I could see that his face looked forlorn, peering out from among the acacia tree thorns. My giraffe would not laugh. Instead, he just said, I am tired and I can't use cement for a bed. So I drew him some grass. It was bright green and lush. And soon the night came and all was a hush. Till my chalk gir giraffe gave a deep grumpy sigh and then waited for me to make a reply. What's the matter, I asked. It's too dark, he protested. I need a nightlight to get well rested. So I drew him a zillion bright white chalky stars and later a sun coming up from afar. Too much, her giraffe grumbled. It's so bright I can't see. Draw me some shade for under my tree. Well, I've had enough, I said, dropping my chalk. I wish I'd never drawn a giraffe that could talk. Instead of saying thanks, you make rude demands. So goodbye, chalk giraffe, you've had your last chance. So I rubbed that giraffe right out with my shoe and the stars and the sun and the tree that I grew. But that night I kept thinking of my work of art. Sad thoughts settled down deep in my heart. I really missed that grumbling giraffe. I knew I still loved him, laugh or no laugh. The next morning I leapt up awake. I picked up my chalk to fix my mistake. I drew a sun and some stars, an acacia with thorns, and my frowning giraffe from his feet to his horns. But this time I noticed a twinkle in his eye. He seemed full of mischief. I wondered why. Then giraffe grabbed my chalk, and I suddenly found I had stick legs and arms and was stuck to the ground. Come, said Giraffe, and look down from up here. The world looks quite different than it would appear. So I proudly showed off my tree climbing skills and scaled his long neck with great skill and balance. And finally perched between his two horns, I surveyed this new world and I too felt forlorn. I saw what he saw and it looked kind of lonely. He needed more friends to make his home homey. I know what's missing, I cried out with glee. This world needs much more than just you and me. So Giraffe and I got to work right that minute. We saw zebras, a buck, and a small spotted guinea. We drew snakes up in trees and tiny dung beetles, a lounging leopard and two sprinting cheetahs. And a rhino with horns and elephants with tusks and a croc with a grin looking out for his lunch. There's still something missing, giraffe whined without end. Will you ever be happy? I asked my chalk friend. But still, I could see, from Giraffe's point of view, there was something absent. 
a giraffe, number two. So I let my chalk friend draw another giraffe. It looked just like him, except that it laughed. I sighed with relief. It had taken a while, but our work was now done. Giraffe finally smiled. So I climbed right back down his long furry neck till I was to him just a small, tiny speck. When I left the chalk world, my giraffe didn't flinch, but I think that I saw his right eye move an inch. And I knew at that moment we'd created great art, and I was glad that I had let my giraffe play his part. And that is the story of the chalk giraffe. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye. Hi everyone, we just read The Chalk Giraffe and now we're going to have some fun with chalk. So we have a box of chalk. All sorts of different colors. And we have a piece of paper. Black paper works best if you don't have a chalkboard. If you have a chalkboard, you can use it. And I found another book called Animals and it's chalk art. So we have a lion and a giraffe. There's our friend the giraffe. A dog and a bird. A monkey and a rhino. Elephant from the front page and a snake. A rabbit and a cat. Now you can take your paper and you can draw anything you want to. And I want to see what you draw and I'll show you what I drew. I drew a cat and I used different color chalk and I made his face nice and cute. So I want to see what you draw, okay? So after we've read the book and we read this book and we got an idea about what kind of animal we like to draw, get some chalk, get a piece of paper, or use a chalkboard, and then take a picture and send it to us, okay? Thank you very much. Bye-bye.